So the big race of the day then from here, Ascot, is the United House Gold Cup. And it's another appearance for G.I. Joe. Let's take a look at the full list though. It's over three miles and it's a grade three handicap. G.I. Joe at the top for Leon van Rensburg. Lost on the way. Joshua Sutherland surprised Leon Bedeck last week. Up on the catwalk, Leon van Rensburg. Lady Rhapsody, Jim Murray, Lord's Kingdom. Jim Murray glad all over. David Robertson, reality check. Ryan Tamasevi who's also got Sherlock Holmes. Placebo Park, Craig Allen, Alja Flyer, Martin Leedham, Ultra Cool. Graham Clutterbuck, Resentful, Sadie James Shea, Supreme Cara, John Morgan, Rhea Coronas, Alex Cherry, Master of Time, Joshua Sutherland, Rose Neath, Nina, Daniel French, and Big Fat Truth, Craig Beck. With. They're all in, uh, they're all in, they're all off, and out. No stools, of course, in the jumping as they get down towards the first of the fences, which they're all safely over. The rain has stopped, and everybody seems to have the right colour jacket on in this race as well. So, there's two good things to be looking forward to. There's 20 fences to take in all. They've already taken the first one, and Rose Nick and Nina leads them over the second. Mistake by Rhea Coronas is now in the rear after that, with just up on the catwalk behind him who's shading stable mate G.I. Joe's a little bit closer than normal today as they get down to the third which is the first ditch and they're all safely over that one as well with Rose Neath Nina settled down in the lead by two lengths from G.I. Joe who is surprisingly close to the lead at this early stage they get to the fourth wide on the track you can see reality check but they're all jumping well at the moment Lady Rhapsody is also close up as they're jockeying for position sorting out where they want to be still a fair old way to go and Rose Neath Nina is in the lead and cuts across to the fence to make sure she's going the shortest way around leads by a good four ever extending and G.I. Joe is back in second Alja Flyer and the Orange Jacket has moved through into third then Lady Rhapsody and Lost on the Way who were both trying to record on Fords last week then comes Lord's Kingdom and Rhea Coronas who's recorded from that early mistake as they get down to the fifth which they're all safely over and Placebo Park has now dropped to the back of the field the sixth one comes up pretty quickly uh, they're all over that, although it's a big mistake by up on the catwalk on the inside the Leon van Rensburg second string as they take number seven and they're all safely over that one as well so Rose Neath Nina is clear the eighth comes up pretty quick as well as they get over that one and again one or two mistakes most particularly from Big Fat Truth at the back who's now been relegated to total last place but Rose Neath Nina must be set at a pretty stiff pace because one or two of them are making silly errors and Rose Neath Nina leads by five to Alja Flyer back in second Lost on the Way is in third and then comes Lord's Kingdom in fourth Rear Coronas is fifth and then Supreme Cara is after that one. Ultra Cool is next. G.I. Joe going the shortest way around. Then Lady Rhapsody up on the catwalk is improving as they get over number nine. And they're all safely over that one as well. With Rose Neath and Nina's lead right up to six lengths. Now then, we're down towards the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And Rose Neath and Nina. Oh, Daniel French clearing the lead by a good six or seven to Alger Flyer in second. Lost on the way is third as they take this plain fence. You see them all safely over that one as well. Resentful Sadie and Big Fat Truth just out of shot at the moment. They're coming up past the stands then, past the winning post and swing right-handed for one more circuit of this Berkshire track. And it's Rose Neath Nina in the lead from Alger Flyer is in second and lost on the way who's third. Lord's Kingdom is four and Rear Coronas is five. Then comes Supreme Cara six and up on a catwalk seven. Ultra Cool is eight and Lady Rhapsody is nine. Then G.I. Joe and Reality Check and Master of Time. And then Glad All Over and Sherlock Holmes. And finally Placebo Park, Resentful Sadie and big fat truth is the tail end Charlie at this point but it's Rose Neath Nina racing downhill now the lead down to four from Alger Flyer in second and Rear Coronas third then Lord's Kingdom and Lost on the Way and Supreme Car on there in a, in a little group together gap off a couple of lengths back to Lady Rhapsody up on the catwalk who's improved G.I. Joe jumped that one nicely as well but it's Rose Neath Nina who's still in front and going nicely then swinging down towards the next with a lead of about four lengths to Lord's Kingdom and Alger Flyer over the 12th they go and they're all safely over that one as well with Big Fat Truth out of shot Sherlock Holmes is also just beginning to lose his place and is shuffled towards the back a little bit reality check stable mate of that one is also struggling on the outside as they get down to this ditch and Rose Neath Nina took that one really well and got away from it well lead still four from Alger Flyer in second then Lord's Kingdom G.I. Joe getting closer in fourth then Rhea Coronas lost on the way and Ultra Cool getting into it good jump there by Alger Flyer in second and Rose Neath Nina lead now down to two as Rose Neath Nina now being challenged by Alger Flyer so mares to the fall then a supreme car and moves into 
third. G.I. Joe, though, creeping closer in fourth. Then Lord's Kingdom and Rear Coronas. Lost on the way, a master of time. Glad all over, ultra cool. Plenty in with chances. And Alger Fly hits the front then. And suddenly the long time leader begins to fall away. It's Alger Flyer in front from Supreme Car on the inside. G.I. Joe stalking on the outside in third. Fourth is Rear Coronas. And then lost on the way as they take the 15th. And as a fall, a Supreme Car has gone while challenging for the lead. So Supreme Car has gone there as they get to the 16th. Alger Flyer lands in front. G.I. Joe is second. Lost on the way on the inside, going well in third. Rear Coronas is fourth. Then over that one they go. That was the 17th. Another ditch. And Alger Flyer has got three more fences to take and leads by about two lengths. Over the third last they go. Alger Flyer now being pressed by Lost on the way in second. Ultra Cool is making ultra cool progress around the outside and moves into second now. Then it's Alger Flyer in the lead. Ultra Cool second. Then Lost on the way with Stable Companion. Master of Time plus Sebo Park has come through from the back. G.I. Joe's got work to do. But it's Alger Flyer who's still in front on the inside. Alger Flyer, two fences to take. Alger Flyer being pushed along with Placebo Park. Master of Time and Lost on the way. This is the second last. Over it they go. Better jump by Placebo Park. Sees that one. Challenge for the lead. Placebo Park now takes it up from Alger Flyer. Master of Time is third. Then Lost on the way. Four shoulder between these. G.I. Joe can't win it. It's Master of Time in the lead. Going too clear. Master of Time coming down towards the final fence then in the United House Gold Cup. Comes to the final fence. Looking like he's only got a jump. It gets over well. Placebo Park makes a mistake. Lost on the way. Moves into second. Could this be a 1-2 for Joshua Sutherland? It's Master of Time in the lead. Lost on the way. Second. Glad all over. has moved into third. Alger Fly sticking on him fourth. But it's Master of Time going to take it. And Master of Time is the master of the United House Gold Cup. Master of Time wins it. Lost on the way. Second. Glad all over. Third. Alger Fly fourth. Then Placebo Park. Resentful. Sadie. G.I. Joe couldn't take the big weight today. Ultra Cool was next. And a long time leader. Rose Neath Nina dropped back to finish last. Joshua Sutherland takes a 1-2. It might only be Grade 3 this, but it's the Grade 1 horses that are in it. And Master of Time takes it for Joshua Sutherland off bottom weight. Lost on the way for Joshua Sutherland again was second. Glad all over for David Robertson was third. Alger Flyer for Martin Lidl was fourth. And the fifth horse to finish has just got out of shot. And he's now going to come back. It was Placebo Park for Craig Allen. So G.I. Joe in a massive weight there. Most of those horses running off bottom weight in the end. But it's still a good performance by the winner.